So in this example, we have uh, the very, very simple basic probability distribution uh, function. It's called the uniform distribution function. So uniform means that all numbers are equally probable. And uh, in this particular situation, we just take it as an example to understand what is cumulative distribution function, something I promise that is very key to simulation. Okay, So idea is this. In a uniform distribution, you are given the starting point and the ending point, A and B. Um, nothing spectacular. You can take it as, as an example. Uh, 1 and 2. Uh, 1 and 6. So it's like a continuous dice, right? So you can take any number between 1 to 6, such as 1.1234. Okay, now um, what is the height? So according to the formula, but it's more because we require probability distribution to be uh, having an area under the curve of 1. So all distributions, no matter how they look, no matter how the, what the shape is, uh, has to have an area underneath the curve uh, summing up to 1. Okay? So, you know, so, so that is a requirement. And once we have fixed the left and the right side, we must have a height of 1 over um, 1 over 6 minus 1. So that's going to be 1 fifth or 0 0.2. Okay? So that will be our, our uh, definition, complete definition of this example, numerical definition. Right, so the question is this, uh, what's the probability, let's ask ourselves, what's the probability of, what's the probability of x uh, between 1 to 2? So that is as good as writing p of x less than uh, equal to 2. Okay, uh, I, you might notice this equal sign, whether I put it there or not, doesn't really matter. Uh, because p of x e equal to anything is zero, right? So I will just put it there. So when we have p of x less than or equal to two, uh, the idea is we want to, or the way to calculate is just the same as equal to area under uh, curve between one to two. All right. So the idea is to convert or to change from a uh, abstract probability concept, which is here, to a geometrical concept that we can see on the diagram. It's here, right? So um, what it involves will be that we have a two here, and we need to just shade. Okay. So we want to calculate this area, this rectangle. But this rectangle, we if you re recall from geometry, rectangle area is just um, base times height. The height is 1 over 5, and the base is 2 minus 1. Right? So that's just 1 over 5. So therefore, the probability from 1 to 2, or p of x less than or equal to 2, because it will end at 1 anyways, there's zero area to the left of one uh, is 0 0.2 okay so now we say what is basically uh, the the probability here is now rewritten as cumulative distribution function because this is a definition all right you can write it as fx or cdf i i personally prefer cdf so cdf of x is p of x less than or equal to uh, some stated number. Therefore, our original question was uh, p of x less than or equal to 2 is we can rewrite it as cdf of 2. Now, what's the whole point between this rewriting? Because it doesn't seem like we're getting anything. We are getting a lot because here upstairs is the probability density function where we have to work with area, you know, you, you have to find the area and uh, fortunately for us it's rectangle. But what if it's curved? Then it is going to be quite challenging because we have to use integration to find the area. Um, but that's that's just uh, you know one part of the the, the difficulty. Uh, but when we rewrite it as CDF, 
we are then able to ask uh, in this sense. So for the, at the same at the same uh, positions on the x axis. Oh, sorry, should be writing six here. Okay, so at the same position on the x axis two, we ask, what is the CDF of two? Now to do that, it means that we first go to two because that's the input value. We move up and hit the CDF curve, all right, and then go left. And then we should be finding ourselves at a point of 0 0.2. I, I think I, uh, my line is too fat, so I kind of get shifted up a little bit. But answer is going to be uh, when we kind of take the line or the, the CDF line as a uh, reflector, right? So when we hit it, we turn 90 degrees to the left and go to the y-axis and find that that value will be the CDF value at the position x. Easy enough, right? Because it's pre-calculated line. And once we have, once we have a formula, we can then basically use the CDF formula to calculate any number that we like. So earlier, our x was just 2, um, a was 1, so 2 minus 1 is 1, 6 was, uh, uh, b was 6, a was 1, so 6 minus 1, that's 5, so 1 over 5, and we get 0 0.2. So basically, this fx line, the CDF line, gives us the, the equation for this curve, right, uh, which is basically a line from 0 to 1. Uh, from y equals to 0 to y equals to 1, from x equals to 1 to x equals to 6. Okay, so quick wrap up. To find the probability, we need area, right? But instead of calculating the area of a PDF curve on top here, we, in simulation at least, we prefer to use the cumulative distribution function curve to do a lookup. So we ask, instead of asking a probability question, we ask a CDF question because we can convert easily using the CDF definition. So we say, what's the value of CDF of 2? Well, we do a lookup, shoot a laser beam upwards, hits the curve, then bounce 90 degrees to the left to touch the y-axis, and the y-axis value is our CDF value for the given question. Okay, so uh, let's... Remember that because we will have to use CDF a lot.